several herds leave behind badly injured or elderly animals. They will fight till the end with all means that their physical bodies provide and eventually accept the inevitable. Bipeds will cling to the life of our elderly and very sick loved ones, even employing means that transcend our physical potential. This is my comment about it. You are free to share yours. Etymologically, from the Greek eu, meaning good, and thanatos, that is death or the god of death. Euthanasia is the good death. For those aware of the anarchist channel profile and of Apocalypsis Opus, it will be clear that the focus on the subject has nothing to do with legal aspects. That is, I am not interested in the legality of the issue. The law of man is nothing more than arbitrariness, often lacking in ethics. The dilemma is ethical or moral. This video only considers voluntary or active euthanasia, meaning deliberately causing death, not passive forms like switching off life support machines. Is assisted suicide correct? Hundreds of thousands of individuals have access to euthanasia in several countries in the world, but many others don't. Does it mean that some are correct? Homicide is defined as the death of a human being caused by another human, the murder of a human by another. Euthanasia would enter into the generality of this definition because it does not consider consent and context. Although it sounds obvious or simple, it is a very important issue to accept socially the definition of homicide with consent as something right. For the very term homicide evokes countless emotional ideas and rejection. The Hippocratic Oath indicates, I will not give any lethal drugs to anyone even if they ask me, nor will I suggest such use. In my opinion, it is obsolete regarding the aspects of reducing the suffering of a being who is in great pain, and this oath leads doctors to meet a crossroad. I subscribe more to the stoic stance. It is not about fleeing life, but knowing how to leave it, or it is preferable to take your life to a life without meaning and filled with suffering. In my opinion, euthanasia is not only correct, but a compassionate approach, differentiating the cases, the very ill and the convalescent elders. For the seriously ill, generalizing the suffering or pain experienced by another being is a subjective issue. Beyond this, in my opinion, the context must be defined for euthanasia to be an ethical practice. Suffering must be physical, not emotional, not mental. The pain threshold should be something that a third party is able to endorse as high or chronic. I understand that many will encounter this subjectivity as the obstacle to a moral application or legalization. But I believe that for most of us, there are ranges that can be determined with certain objectivity. Maybe this is a take that many of us share. Severe disabilities. Advanced disability levels, for example, quadriplegics, advanced Parkinson's and or significantly failing senses are a case in which the convalescent should have the option at his or her disposal. For the elderly, those who have lost considerable motor capacity or their senses have significantly diminished should be able to make this choice. Possibly, this is the case which many will refute. 
dogmas and cultural structures lead many to reject this. Many elders experience the desire to die, but trapped in foolish creeds, just as their families, they would never consider assisted suicide. The elders of ancestral tribes would not get machine life support or would remain as vegetables requiring permanent attention. In my opinion, it is something we owe to the elderly to offer the opportunity to choose. An elder has already experienced a vital time and his physical body begins to lack the capabilities to provide more enriching experiences. In my opinion, we owe respect instead of selfishness by clinging to their physical presence when they are suffering or almost unable to appreciate the human experience. In my opinion, in the stated cases, pain, not emotional or mental suffering, the physical suffering of others is something we must learn to treat as if it were ours and assist those who request their death.